again everyone just finally getting around to this update that I promised uh, I posted it last week I said I was gonna do an update on the sump and answering a bunch of questions that are received uh, via messages or YouTube uh, by the way my YouTube channel for those of you who want to see other videos of this tank uh, it is one more fish on YouTube so check it out there's a bunch of videos on there with just pretty much everything about the tank and the setup so hopefully that'll answer a bunch of questions Otherwise, uh, let's get into this sump here as I promised. It's a 75 gallon fish tank that I converted into a filtration system, aka sump. And I had the glass baffles cut out for it into the compartments that you see. Again, here's the tank, as most of you probably know. Sorry for the glare, it's pretty bright in this room that this tank is in. Uh, there's the aquaponic system on the side, of course. I'll make a separate video on that because that's a whole Another project in itself, really. So let's get in on the sump and talk about it and see what's what. So here is the power panel. I'm not finished with it. I'm waiting on a couple uh, parts, actually, or not parts, but uh, extension cables for uh, a couple of the wave makers here. So uh, main pump. Uh, obviously, here's the switches for all the uh, plugs. <clears throat> one of my heaters. I have another heater on the other side, and then there will be one or two more of these boxes right here and here. And that's pretty much the power panel. It's not done, but I will make an updated video when it is done. Uh, no, it is not a uh, mission control system. I cannot launch a shuttle from it. So, um, okay, that was corny. Uh, anyways, here we go with the song. So, like I said, 75 gallon tank. Cut up a bunch of glass baffles here to create these dividers. It is a dual overflow tank. So both corners, back corners of the tank are drilled. <clears throat> this is just the uh, wire jungle of the uh, power panel there. So we have the drain system and then the return line right here on the left side. And the same down here, we have a drain and a return. I'm gonna try to make this video relatively short and not 15, 20 minutes long. So here we go. Uh, water flows down here into the drain system, comes out these two pipes into the port foam. I cut this port foam up, kind of looks like bio balls, maybe acts like bio balls, although it is submerged. Below this cut up port foam is a bunch of different layers, thicknesses of uh, coarse to medium to fine port foam. It does a great job. And then over here we have bed matting, which is uh, really good, takes out all the fine particles and whatnot. Of course, here is uh, a ton of ceramic noodles, or I'm sorry, ceramic rings. <clears throat> uh, just real quick, water flows in here through the pipes, down through the port foam, up this baffle, and through the ceramic rings, comes back up here, flows into my favorite K1 media. Now, I used power heads and wave makers in the past. I ended up going with the uh, air pump. As you see here, I'm using an air pump uh, setup now two large four to five inch uh, discs, uh, pumping out a ton of air. And uh, what I like about it is it's quieter than the pumps I had running. Uh, the pumps really smash the uh, plastic media up against the glass, it makes a lot of noise. And this tank is really quiet, uh, although you do hear a lot of the sound on the, uh, on the camera, the phone. I'm taking a video with my iPhone and it just picks up all the sound it possibly can, I guess. So anyways, we got a pretty good rotation of the K1 media in there. And next section here, I am actually using, I have a bunch of, um, not a bunch, but uh, a few reef tanks, saltwater reef tanks. That's my main forte and the cichlid tank is kind of just my cichlid tank. But um, I have a bunch of this extra uh, reef rock here and I basically use it to naturally uh, buffer the water. I don't use any additives. I do test my water, so if I do, in fact, need to use any additives, uh, I'm usually just using uh, baking soda for the most part, and sometimes I will use some kosher salt just as a little uh, aquarium salt additive, but uh, it depends on what's going on with the tank or, or the fish or, you know, if there's anything um, going on, I'll, I'll possibly dose some, some um, <clears throat> kosher salt uh, in place of the aquarium salt. So, anyways... Um, Carrying on, it goes through this uh, buffering area, if you want to consider it that, up into here. This is my return section, and there is the pot scrubbers, along with just a couple uh, random media bags full of, uh, that's Matrix, uh, the Seachem Matrix stuff. 
and then it's kind of hard to see probably, but if you go to the side, you can see more, oops, sorry, see more matrix over here. And my main pump in there, it's a J-Bow uh, 10,000, it's a DCP pump, puts out a lot of, a lot of uh, gallons per hour, so that's uh, good for me. And I am also using in there, it's kind of hard to see, a bag somewhere, there it is down there, of Kemi Pure Blue. Guys, that stuff is freaking awesome. Keeps my water crystal clear. So, going back up here, just to sum it up, up here is a Aquaviolet Ultraviolet Sterilization Setup. It is 25 watts, which is plenty for fresh water on this tank. If this was my saltwater tank, and I should say on my saltwater tanks, I use a minimum of 40 watts, but uh, lower uh, wattage needed here for the freshwater guys. So um, coming out of the uh, drain, out of the um, UV sterilizer, goes straight across to my aquaponic setup, which is right over here in this flower planter over here, but I'll make a different video touching up upon that and uh, telling you guys uh, what the deal with that setup is. Uh, we have a auto top off system I have set up here using the float valve Works great. Um, I have a GE refrigerator um, purif Purification uh, cartridge in here basically just charcoal and whatever else uh, fun stuff is in there um, That is connected through my leak detection system. I have a couple Sensors running off of this basically if this thing leaks at any point anywhere it will shut off the main water system Or I should say main water supply to the tank uh, Basically a snap trap this uh, Where's my finger? There it is. This will snap closed and uh, sound an alarm uh, to alert me that there's a problem so That's about it. I'm trying to think of what else. Uh, oh the reason I am using, I know I got a question about the uh, water chemistry. <clears throat> the reason I have this uh, section set up is to buffer my water to maintain my uh, pH slash KH and then also uh, the GH if you want to think about that as well. Um, my water here, my tap water, unfortunately is only around 7.0 to 7.2 at best on the pH and the KH is really low as well. It's um, usually around two or so, so uh, I have to buff it somehow. I don't like using a whole lot of additives, so this is uh, just the way that I do it. I'm not saying it's the, the best way or the worst way or this is the way you should do it. That's just the way I do it and it works great for me, so um, that's what I'm gonna continue to do. Uh, again, here are the fishies. I did a water change about an hour ago, so it's a little bit cloudy, but eh, it's clearing up pretty quick. This tank uh, turns itself over pretty good, so um, you know it only takes about an hour or so to get this tank back to uh, crystal clear. Sorry for all the glare again, guys. Um, if there is anything that I can answer for you guys, please don't hesitate to ask. I love uh, I love all the questions. I love the comments. Um, Love to help helping you guys, and uh, you guys help me a lot uh, as well, and get me thinking about things and and whatnot when uh, you do ask the question. So I really appreciate it. Um, any questions, uh, please don't hesitate to ask me. And again, if you guys don't mind checking out my YouTube channel, it is One More Fish, and uh, subscribe if you like it. Uh, don't subscribe if you don't. Um, so that's about it. I'm gonna be making a couple more videos on uh, some other questions that I had. Mainly, or one of the main questions, a bunch of questions, was about the uh, aquaponic system I have set up here. Uh, it's unbelievable how well it works at sucking the nitrates out of the water. These plants are just growing at an unbelievable rate. But uh, I'll touch upon that in another video. So thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you guys soon.